Um, here in Namibia, a lady walking in a bikini, me sitting here is so dangerous. Like, why? it's just, it's what the culture is like in Namibia. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm, what I'm trying to explain. If a girl walks in a bikini at the beach on a festive season, guys, you know, Swap of Moon, it's the festive season, you're walking there, it's like the 26th of December, it's family day, everyone's like hanging out on the beach, and she walks by and all these people see her, like, it's a small country, so everyone knows everyone. Um... <laughs> you would be, he would be like, oh, uh, okay. But being in Brazil, coming with this mindset where I need to cover up my entire body and I need to not hide. I'm not saying a girl should be wearing a thong on, on the beach, but the ladies in Brazil, they wear thongs on the beach and no man, I've, I've been, I've been paying culture. attention to this for six months. No man would look around and look at her and sexualize her body. So she could walk freely without feeling some type of way. Mm -hmm. Now, in Namibia, there are two types of women. A woman that would feel like, oh my gosh, they're looking at me. And a woman that, even though she's built perfectly, and then a woman that would be like, oh, I like the attention. And, um, but that's a, that's a thing that men do. And women do it as well. I just don't think it's such so a big deal. So it's the different deal. cultures. I think so. I think it's also what we're used to, how we grew up, what our parents taught us. This is not getting too deep. It is cold. Oh. Now wait. Oh, you guys are both going to be in the interview. Yeah. Shit. Okay, guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm interviewing today. I'll be okay. interviewing. You're going to take it over. Yes, I'm taking yes. over. I'm going to let you guys the interview. YouTube expert. I am. I am. Look at me. I'm so comfortable in front of this camera. <laughs> You know, guys, so today we're at a pool, and we so have got Maxine back, back of the camera. She is rocking and directing this whole thing. So shout out to Maxine, follow her on her IG. And then, of course, we have the Mr. Mr. Sweden thank over you, here thank you. doing his thing. Yeah, you know, I'm just you know, working it's, hard. Oh, it's, it's going I'm great, doing it's my going best. great. I'm doing my it's best. going to be so much fun. I'm I got, so excited. I'm working with these talented people, so. Hi, guys, welcome to another episode. I'm here with Model. Ashley Bedford. And model. Ortega. And today no we're going to ask you some interesting questions. Cool. So okay. let's start with the, the first, first one. Uh -huh. Would you say that you're a nerd, a geek, or a freak? What do you think? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm definitely a superhero girl. A superhero? Yeah. yeah. Which, which, who's your favorite superhero? Um, I don't. I love the Avengers, though. Okay. I love Marvel. Yeah. Marvel makes my I'm, I'm a DC fan. Oh, no. You should leave. You can get yeah, out of the pool Marvel. now. Thank you. <laughs> Marvel is the one. Marvel is okay, the one. so who in Marvel is your favorite superhero? I don't. I don't do favorites in general. So okay. Like, Not I just feel uh, like that's unfair. Iron Man or... Black Panther. You know, Iron Man is hot and whatever. <laughs> but no. Okay. I don't, I don't have a favorite. I don't think I should have a favorite. So how long have you been modeling? Ooh. Seven years? Six, seven, seven years now? Seven years. Within the country, of course. Wow. Moving from school to school. Okay, so you have, uh, have you been traveling also? I've been traveling, but not for modeling. Okay. It is a dream come true, of course, but not for modeling. Is, it, is it hard modeling in Namibia? It is. It is It is hard. Why? It is hard because of the opportunities. The market is still growing. I'm not saying it's not there. I'm saying it's still growing. Mm -hmm. And there's a certain standard that we need to reach. Um, of course, South Africa is a lot more progressive than we are, but... Do you want to move to South Africa, maybe continue your modeling there? No, I don't. Why not? Because I, I believe South Africa is a comfort zone for mm -hmm. a lot of Namibians. Mm -hmm. um, I like challenges, and I do believe moving abroad to America, Europe, anywhere else but Africa, I think would be more challenging. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you want to stay in Africa? No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I don't it. want to, but I definitely come back. I think I'd come back. Okay, okay. Yes, I have African a lot that I want to start here. So. But where, where would you want to go? Where in uh, Europe would you want to, you know? Do I don't some like modeling? being cold. Okay. So it's Brazil, maybe? I've been in Brazil. Mm? I like it. I wouldn't stay there permanently. I don't think I would. Okay. Um, I think the economy of Brazil needs improving. Let's not go into that conversation okay. another day. But um, I think I think I'd be I'd like to go to America for a few years and then come back. I don't think I'd ever stay there. Seven years is a long time. So when did you start? What year was it? I was grade nine. I was that was two thousand and fourteen. 
Okay. I started Ace Models just opened in, in Namibia. That's yeah. the year I started doing modeling. Okay. Blindly. I was a jeans and t-shirts type of girl, guys. And were you doing fashion or was it pageantry? It was it was a little bit of both. I think um, Ace is very diverse in that in that sense. Um, yeah, and then I moved more into pageantry after that. I joined another another um, academy, and then now I'm happy where I am. So what's difficult about modeling, would you say? Um, I don't think modeling is difficult. Not at all? No. Okay. You've been doing um, it for such a long time. I've been so doing it for like such a long time. I think what makes it intimidating, I don't think it's hard, I think it's intimidating, is because you have to constantly work on your confidence. It's okay. the one thing you constantly need to work on. Yeah. You need to practice and practice and practice. So, so how do you work on your confidence? What do you do to you get do? more confidence? Well, it's... I need to challenge myself, okay. right? So for me, I struggle. <laughs> this is going to sound so <laughs> stupid. But every time I go somewhere, I have anxiety because of okay. the people that's going to be there. Uh -huh. But it's a choice going out there, okay. talking to people, engaging, mm -hmm. um, asking questions. Um, the idea is to intimidate people with your questions, ask as many questions so that they can be talking about themselves, mm -hmm. and that's how people get comfortable with you. Mm -hmm. um, also, just putting yourself out there. When you walk into a room, shoulders back, man. Come on. You can do this. You should feel your it takes energy. practice. Okay, so would it you say, practice. going back to superheroes, would you say that you have the charisma of Iron Man? Or which, which superhero would you say you have a charisma of? relate to. Uh, what do you guys think? I really don't like favorites, guys. I'm really bad at it. I would this. say Iron Man. You think so? Yeah, very social, rich. Comes but into, walks into a room. Uh, Everyone is just like interested yeah, in what he's doing. He's also very arrogant. Yes. Yes. And, and I don't, cocky. Yeah. And I you don't, don't like those traits? No. Why not? I don't. I just know. You're not a cocky person. You, you can don't. Have are you old. attracted to cocky guys or no. maybe do she? No. <laughs> what kind of guys are you attracted oh, to? Oh, this is, this is going to be fun. This okay. is going to be fun. Um, for for you guys out there, I might just be lying. So don't pay attention to what I'm going to say right now. Yeah. Um, but. Bad boys. No. Good guys? Oh, no, but there's a difference between a bad boy and a guy that's confident. Okay. And content yeah. with who he is. There's such a big difference. Okay. And I think. Differentiated too. Better I confident. think I will for in a second but i think that's why guys are so quick to jump to yeah girls only want bad guys that's not the case that's okay. not the case the situation is um when a guy walks into a room yeah and he has his shoulders back and he's just content with who he is whatever he says he believes what he's saying he um asks questions he sometimes he's not too over the top he's in his own pace that's a confident guy he's content with mm. where he is in his life who okay. he is you can see it. It's an aura. You pick it up. Yes. But then you get those bad guys that just love living on the edge and love doing everything that they're not supposed to. Yeah. And that's the difference. Well, I don't like the bad guy vibe. No. Okay. So which one? Or the is? pushy guy, so or the show type? off, or the controlling. I don't like that. I just you just need to know who you are. Like I don't even have a type. You just need to be content okay. with who you are. And then you pick. And do your thing. And me on my side and you on your side, but we complement each other in a way. I think that's what, what, what is nice. Okay, so you're not only a model, you're a video videographer also. Yes, I am. Uh, tell us a little <laughs> bit about that and how did you start with that? Well, I was a photographer in high school. I'd had it as a subject mm -hmm. um, for two years. And then after that, I've always just done photo shoots for less than I should get paid for. Mm -hmm. majority of my life. Mm. Reason being, we were just talking about it with Maxine, is you have this imposter syndrome. Okay. And I've been living with it <laughs> when it comes to my <laughs> when it comes to my modeling, when it comes to my photography, Why when it comes to my Why do you feel like you have that? I don't know. I just, I don't believe my work is as good as... You don't believe you deserve to get paid for your work? Yeah, I don't think it's... A, I mean, it's is freaky. Is it's like, there's a lot of anxiety that comes with it. Like, okay. I... I don't know. If someone was to ask me, I'd rather just do fun stuff and just make videos and edit it without pressure and then post it and give it to people for free than, than paying for it and me making a mistake. I just, I don't like making mistakes, guys. Tell you. But well, maybe you should, maybe you Tell should you start grow. with YouTube or something. Then you don't have to have that pressure of... The people are going to watch me. I don't want them watching me. <laughs> but that's how you grow with critics. I mean, <laughs> I, mean I have this thing, right, where I started before... And then I used to work for a lot of companies. And then after a while, it just became like, 
such a hassle because people have always this expectation and then they say, do whatever you want. And then when I do whatever I want and they say, no, that's not what we wanted. We want this. And then it's just messy. So sometimes it's best just to go your own path, you know? Then you can do exactly what you want. I agree, but certain people are still going to book you on your popularity. Like, True. you're going to get a wedding. You're going to get yes. a, an award ceremony. You're gonna and get weddings this, you're are gonna the get worst. This. And they are the yeah. worst yeah. because there's no time limit yeah, exactly. to them. And you were just shooting a bunch of random stuff and you don't want to pressure people because they're in a hurry. Exactly. But you also need to make sure you get everything. It's annoying. Yes, it's and very annoying. And then when you get actually. to your edit, you have pictures that are not um Do you, do you have like a crew? No. People which you guys do it with? No. It's no, just no, yourself. No, no. I just do it myself. So you're taking the photos fun. and you're yeah, filming and oh my gosh. Just We're two. We have to have at least. I do have friends that I usually um, help you. Ask, the, ask to just join me in on it. Okay. Join in on it. Mm. Um, but that's, that's about it. Okay. Yeah. You're say, you're talk, we're talking about pay and how much to, to charge for a wedding. What would you say is a good price for no, the people I don't with, which, <laughs> which are Estimates. just starting off? No, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Because I'm there myself. I honestly, like, and this is, I'm the wrong person to take advice from. Okay. I really am. Yeah. Because I, like I said, I have this imposter syndrome. And even if anyone was to come to me right now, just for basic photo shoot, I'd be okay. like, uh, uh, sometimes I even go, I need to talk to my dad about it. Okay. Sometimes I even do that. Okay. And but it's something really basic. I know it's something really basic. It's simple. But why don't you make like a cost list where it's like, okay, this is how much it's going to cost, this is how much time. I maybe want, uh, I don't know, want to buy something, maybe no, a new camera or something. It's good and advice. then you put that in the, in the price and then you say, well, I can charge you 10,000 Namibian dollars or 20,000 Namibian dollars. Guys. <laughs> it's a good week, idea. I mean, why wouldn't you? That's a good idea. Like, I do. I do sit back many of many of the times I just I do sit back and I'm like oh wow mm. I did a really good job with this um, but I just I'm, I'm the wrong person at the moment let's just say that I'm getting there like I'm gonna mm -hmm. pull towards that you're, you're working on I'm it I'm working on it yeah working progress okay Ooh. hey like comment and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this see you soon